This course is taught through problem-based learning, at least for the core modules. Problem-based learning is just a way of giving context to your learning. We start from a real-world problem. We're divided up into groups for a module, and then within that group we're given a problem. That gives a fixed point in which to hang new information. It's also quite motivating that you actually want to, to find a solution. There's a goal to work towards, so when you do get that goal, you get the sense of satisfaction. Rather than people spoon-feeding you things, you have to go away and learn it yourself, and then come back and discuss it with your group. The problem is a profi body wrap. It's a treatment to aid in taking off inches, changing body shape, size, contour, as well as tightening and toning the skin. It's said controlled by a microprocessor. So we can say whether that's the. We're looking at a therapy in which you wrap the body in um, elastic bands and you heat the body, and um, and this is meant to. Um, increase blood circulation and um, cleanse the cells. What students do is to tackle real-world problems from the beginning in the way that scientists actually practice, that's to say from a research perspective. Do we really need to know the distribution? Well isn't this elastic band only supposed to be put on one part of the body? I find it more fun because when I'm sitting in lectures, um, I don't know about anyone else, but when I'm sitting there, after about 15, 20 minutes, I start yawning, even if I find it interesting. Whereas this way, we have maybe like 15 minutes of someone talking to us, and then we're talking as a group and interacting with each other, which is the most important part. And we're learning from each other. And then if we do happen to get stuck, we can always go to someone for help or ask for an expert session. Is that something we could look up? We call the degree a paperless degree. It's not quite paperless, but we're aiming at that direction. We'd loan the students for the duration of their programme a tablet PC. The things that we have to learn about usually are incorrect in books. We'd have to carry around, in theory, like biology, chemistry and physics textbooks. We've got the internet on our tablet PCs, which we can use to research stuff. And because they are tablet PCs, we can flip them around put them down and use them as notepads as well. The whole course um, is done on the tablet PC, everything is electronic, the way we communicate, the way we um, work amongst ourselves as a team and with the faculty. It's just a lot more efficient, it'd be a lot more difficult to do with pen and paper. Okay, right, I think we're ready to report our conclusions on this one then. Having discussed and read the problem that the, the, this uh, body heat wrap treatment is complete rubbish and that uh, they're actually uh, doing it the wrong way around. Like if, you, if you're colder and you're sitting there idle, your body will start to burn the fats and that will make you lose weight. But if you're hot, then your body will lower its metabolism where this says it will increase your metabolism. Rather than having to be hard-headed and just saying, you know, I'm right, you're not. You know, this, this helps you understand everyone else and other people's Again, way of thinking. All directions, it, so. Everybody tends to have their moment to shine. It's, you know, it doesn't really matter what the skill set of the other um, students are. There will be a part where I'll be useful and I'll be able to bring my knowledge to bear on the problem. Well, you need to know the distribution of heat as well. You're actually going in there and figuring out things for yourself and then I think from that you tend to remember things a lot better because you're like, oh, that makes sense, instead of like being told this is this. <laughs> Thank you.